Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to show you guys how I clean my disgusting beauty blenders. Excuse me if I sound like I'm out of breath. That is the joys of being nine months preg. Alright, so first what I use is some coconut oil and I got this from I believe Sally's Beauty Store for like $2.99 but they have it pretty much everywhere. And then I use some dish detergent. Um, this is just the name brand I had on hand. You could definitely use anything you guys have. Go to the dollar store. This is supposed to be cheap, easy, and quick. So don't go out and buy the most expensive thing ever. So what I do here is I just mix the coconut oil and some dish soap, and I mix it all together really good until it becomes almost like foamy. Yes, these beauty blenders are disgusting. I don't even know when the last time I washed these things were. Which I know, I know, don't judge me. Terrible. So I just dip my beauty blender inside of this concoction that I just created and I just rub it in. After it's wet a little bit and it's all soapy, you'll see here all the dirty, disgusting makeup or whatever else is inside this beauty blender it just comes right out. Everything looks good. It smells amazing, it's super soft, and the Beauty Blender does not break down or anything when you use this. So I just keep cleaning it until it is back to its original color, rinse it out, and repeat. And I'm just gonna fast forward it for you guys just because I think you guys pretty much understand what I'm doing here. I'm just dipping it, rubbing it clean, squeezing, rinse, repeat. And voila, it's finished. It looks amazing, feels good, smells good, and it's like brand spanking new. So now I'm gonna do my other beauty blender, and I'll probably speed this one up, um, just because I, I think you guys kinda get it. <laughs> super easy, super cheap. Don't go spending a lot of money on all these little makeup remover um, sprays and stuff like that when you can just make it at home for less than $5. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 